EPA and um, Louisville Metro, they had 2016 emissions also reported that they that we used to replace. So it was self-consistent. And what about all of the power plant closures between 2016 and present? Were those removed from the data set or are they still there? No. So because 2016 was selected, there's a part in this study that we didn't talk about, but it's in the report, that the model is compared to actual measurements. And so we used the 2016 emissions actually occurred in order to make that comparison as apples to apples. Okay. Yeah. That was a good question, because that was my next question. Okay. Since, since the power plants yeah. have probably closed since uh, you used the date of two, uh, 2016. Yes. And I'm sure we had a tremendous uh, reduction in NOx uh, uh, from there, those facilities. There have been some closings within our region. We know that we also have a number of closings that will begin to take place starting in 2020, but extending all the way up to okay. 2028. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. It's been great to be here today. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, our quality uh, data um, enforcement status report. Uh, any questions from any board members on the uh, uh, report for the <coughs> enforcement? Uh, excess emission uh, events report. Any questions? Complaint investigation status report looks good. And our quality data, PM 2.5 gold zone. That's good. So all the uh, reports are look good. Any uh, comments on the reports? We do have an announcement from. I did have one request for clarification because we had a recusal and because the chair needed to vote on the ASRC matter. Could I just have a show of hands of who voted for ASRC? Thank you.